Padre. How was Wisconsin? Cold. Let's go. Well, that's good. We had a very good hunt. A good trip. Good. Last one you got. Man. So, welcome. You get to get home. I bet. So. My family is the most important thing in life. And uh, when Jake decided to go into service, I was extremely proud. Uh, not worried. I, I knew that God was in control. I wasn't in control of nothing. And uh, just gave him to the Lord and he looked after him. One day the Lord just impressed upon me that I needed to pray for Jake. And I, talking back and forth to God, I said, God, I'll read, I pray for Jake every day. And he said, no, you need to pray for Jake really hard. So I stepped up uh, my prayer life. All through the day, the Holy Spirit would bring Jake to my mind and I'd pray. God, I don't know what's going on with him, but you do take care of him. The summer of 2009, we deployed to Helmand Province, Afghanistan. Uh, our operations started to heat up in uh, mid-July. We lost two Marines to an IED attack and one Marine due to indirect fire on July 23rd. Uh, I was outside on one occasion when a rocket landed right between two walls within our compound. If it had landed anywhere else within the compound, it, it was certainly a big enough rocket and accurate enough that it would have caused casualties. After the deployment, you know, I, I didn't share anything with mom or dad about what was going on, whether, you know, we were losing Marines or whether we were, we were being attacked and that sort of thing. Um, I just didn't want them to worry any more than I knew they already were. And so it wasn't until after I got back from Afghanistan that dad asked me, um, was there anything going on in, in mid-August? Um, he told me that, you know, he had, he had woken up on occasion and, and felt a strong urge to pray for our safety. And I didn't, didn't realize it until he said that, that that was when we had all those attacks occurring at our base. That was when the threat was the, the highest. And uh, I don't think it's coincidence that the Lord put it on his heart and others within a Sunday school class to pray for us and our safety during that time. I truly believe it was uh, the prayers that was being sent up at the Holy Spirit's prompting to pray for him to save my son's life. If you know a serviceman, pray for your military. Pray for them. Not just them, pray for their families, pray for their precious wives and their children. They really need you to pray and support them when they get home.